Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to SQL Server Performance Monitoring and Tuning video brought to you by SQLWorkshops.com. In this video, we will talk about SQL test. Getting started, part one. In SQL test, there is a possibility to have between four and 16 workloads. By default, it comes up with four workloads. Let's see what is a workload. A workload is a configuration of connection strings, SQL command, number of iterations or durations, number of threads, and the corresponding workload settings. You can have all these settings specific to a particular workload. So this is a workload. A workload can have, uh, uh, for example, this workload has one connection string and one statement. The second workload has two connection string and a different statement. So they are independent workloads. And normally you could use uh, one workload to have a set of statements, for example, to, to have inserts and uh, deletes in the next workload, updates and selects and so on. If you want to have more than four workloads, you click on tools options and you have a possibility to choose between 4 and 16 workloads. This needs a restart. As we saw in the SQL test essentials, if you click on start current, it will only start this workload. If you say start all, it will start all the active workloads. In a workload, you can have up to 255 connection strings. For example, here we have one connection string. I can add two more connection string. One can connect to 2014. The other two can connect to 2012 and they can connect to different databases. So here we have uh, uh, three connection strings. One is connecting to 2014 instance master database, 2012 instance master database, and 2012 instance test database. You can have up to 255 connection strings in a single workload. For example, if you have two connection strings and if you have one thread and one iteration, all together there will be two threads and two iterations. That is one thread per connection string executing one iteration. Let's do start current. There you will see two threads completed two iterations. If you have configured two threads, then two threads will connect for each instance. So there will be four threads altogether and they will complete one iteration each so if you say start current, you will see iterations completed is four. So whatever connection strings you give, this number of iterations and number of threads applies for each connection string. And if you want to edit this connection string, there is a possibility you can double click and you get a larger window. And here you can of course resize and add or review your connection strings. There's also a possibility you can right click and you say word wrap and you can see the entire connection string if you don't want to increase the size of this window. Each workload can have up to 1024 threads. So the number of threads that you can enter here it can be up to 1024 and the number of iterations and duration you can have the max integer size. If you choose number of iterations it will execute so many iterations. If you do a, a duration 10 seconds or 20 seconds it will execute as long as the timer is running. What happens if your query is running longer than the workload duration. For example, let's say we have here two threads running for five seconds. And let's say two connections using one thread running for five seconds. Of course, when you say start all, 
it will run for five seconds it will connect to both of the server and it will run this iteration for five seconds what if if i have a statement like this which says wait for delay 10 seconds but we let it run only for five seconds or let's say we run it for 15 seconds so there's a possibility this can complete one full iteration that is 10 seconds and either the iteration has to be stopped in the middle or it has to be completed and there is a, a way you can control this behavior you, by default when you say start current let's see how long this is running because we have this configured 15 seconds so it will run for 15 seconds but after 10 seconds two iterations complete because they are from two connection strings and after 15 seconds it did not continue with the iteration it cancelled the iteration and you get a message here cancellation complete the two commands cancel because these two commands have been cancelled if you want to have this iteration complete in full you can click on settings general settings uncheck this cancel query on duration expiration when you click ok and then if you start this it will run for 20 seconds because the first iteration runs for 10 seconds and the second iteration starts and it should complete in 15 but the query hasn't completed so this iteration will complete and then the workload will stop so if you see after 20 seconds the workload stopped and you have a, a little warning saying you exceeded this configured time and the other configuration important configuration related to the workload is the commands here you can give your commands uh, you can uh, have your commands separated by go and the go has to be in a new line then this will become two batches so the tool will call the execute non-query or execute reader two times with the content of these batches so that's what it is and of course if you want to uh, have a lot of uh, editing to do you can double click and you can again maximize minimize the same way you did it with this uh, connection string and these are the workload settings that are available in the uh, in the main window if you want further workload settings you can click on settings workload settings this will set the workload settings for workload one and there is a possibility to say connect before every iteration normally if you have 10 iterations it connects one time and executes the 10 iteration if you choose connect before every iteration then it will connect before iteration execute the iteration disconnect from this database connect again and it will do so you have quite a lot of possibilities to customize your workload this is very similar to what you would do from an application for example you execute non-query or you execute reader you fetch the results there's uh, advanced settings like parameterization and substitute values you can of course look for the f1 help and there is a detailed documentation with examples how to do this parameterized query and substitute values thanks for watching